All right, so what we've got um, is the uh, glass or Lexan plexiglass stuff I bought to uh, put on my camper shell. Um, and the problem is the, uh, the shell is actually curved on the back of here, which is why I couldn't just buy a normal piece of glass because no one um, around here wants to find and cut convex glass. So, I bought some Lexan, cut it, um, which also nobody wanted to do. I really don't like the people around here, but um, they always shy away from challenges, which I didn't think is much of a challenge. Doesn't look perfect, but oh well. My first shot, deal with it. Um, so, what I gotta do is get this to fit on here nicely. And the only way to do that is to bend it permanently. So what I did over here is I heated up the heat gun there. And it's all nice and bent and curved. And looks decent. I mean, I'm not claiming this to be professional work by any means. But it, I mean, it is formidable. So um, on this side, I've got to do the same. Um, I figured I'd do it once that we have some idea what I'm doing before I make a video of this. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be how to heat form um, Lexan. I actually couldn't find anything about this on YouTube of how to do it um, on a big piece of glass like this. I only found like how to do like a 90 degree angle or something like that. Obviously, that's not going to help me in this situation. So, um, I'll get this all propped up and set up and try and show you guys how I do this. What I've got, the heat gun here. There we go. Uh, and I got it set on high. What I did, I kind of marked where I want the bend to start. And just slowly take it and work it across. Real close down to it. You see how close I am? To the glass here. It, it takes a lot of heat to uh, get this stuff to melt. This is quarter inch Lexan that I'm working with here. Um, and after a little while of doing this, I, I really don't know what the time frame is, um, you'll slowly start to see the end down here start to move down. Um, and once that starts happening, then you can go ahead and turn off the heat gun. And you need to actually um, bend it down with your hand. And you're going to take, uh, and I'll try and show you how I do that. Uh, no guarantees on the camera work on that one. Because I'm, as usual, I'm alone. So I, I need about five more hands. It is um, possible that you'll end up causing a little bit of a um, bubble effect on the top of this. I did that on the other side. Uh, for me, I really don't care a whole lot about that, mainly because I'm going to get some acrylic clear coat and put over this stuff because the scratch is insanely easy. Um, and I also found a way to get scratches out with heat gun, which is in another one of my videos. Um, I'll try and put the link to that in the description, maybe. Because I guarantee if you're playing with Lexan, you will put a lot of scratches in it. And I, I did everything I could think of when I transported this stuff to make sure I didn't do it. And I still got a lot of scratches in it. So... Uh, it, it's the guarantee you're going to do it. Um, and the acrylic clear coat, I actually got that idea from uh, Chris Fix. I like him. It, it, that's a good channel. If you guys like, um, you're just nice, quick, easy fixes to everyday issues. He's got a lot of good solutions on his channel. Um, but he actually used acrylic clear coat spray paint to fix the oxidation on um, headlights and supposedly it doesn't re-oxidize so I figure 
Well, that should do good on this to keep it from oxidizing and keep it from getting scratched on both sides, really. I'm also going to put tinting on it here in a little while. Yeah, see it's starting to bubble up. So I think we've got it hot enough. Set that down there. Now what I do, see how I've got my thumb there kind of forcing it down. Now it is insanely hot so be prepared for that. Um, if you burn yourself, please don't get in the comments and say this is stupid. I burn myself, that's your problem. I mean, you use some common sense. You're using a heat gun that's putting out, I don't even know how much, like 900 degrees or some garbage like that. Um, it is hot. It does burn. It is insane. Probably should use gloves. But I don't believe in gloves. So deal with it. So you see it's starting to curve down here. I'm going to get a little bit different angle at it. There we go. So you see it's starting to curve down there, which is what we're wanting. Man, this camera is horrible right now. And just got to hold it like this until it cools down a little bit. So it stays formed that way. There, finally, dear lord. Okay. This thing's cooled down enough. Yeah, my stick fell down. Alright, so we'll take it and put it down. Let's see what we've got. See, it's come on, camera. All right, whatever. So, as you see, it is a little bit better. Um, I'm probably gonna have to move back a little bit and do another curved line here. Might actually do an arc on that one. Um, but yeah, you see, that's how it's slowly starting to conform see what I need and that that already looks a lot better on there um, I mean like, like I said no it's not perfect no it's not a professional job that this is my first time messing with Lexam so honestly for my first time I don't think it's horrible per se um, and it definitely beats the $200 that the glass shop wanted to cut it um, and I, even at that, that still wasn't forming it, and I still had to give them a pattern, which made no sense. They wanted $200 to cut something, but they wanted a pattern to cut off of. Well, then I might as well cut it myself. That's, that's stupid. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what we've got. Um, my, the, uh, shocks and all that fun stuff. There we go. All that fun stuff that I'll go on there um, and then mount somewhere up here. I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but um, those are all on order from good old Amazon. Love Amazon. Um, and probably later today, I'll try and tint it. I might wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, yeah. That is how you... Um, heat form Lexan and for if you're messing with this stuff like I said it scratches extremely easy I'll put the link to how I get the scratches out in the uh, description below um, as always you know like subscribe watch all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time